Jalen, what do you think of this matchup? Uh, well, I, I, like, you know, I've been playing a little bit of Min Min here and there. I think Min Min can really mess up Mega Man because Min Min has way longer range than Mega Man. And Min Min doesn't really care about pellets. So I think this is definitely in Peckham's favor. Yeah, M Mega Man's traditionally very a zoner type, likes the distance, likes the long range, but Min Min is even longer range. So it's going to be extremely tough for, for uh, you to actually close that distance. Very true. Mm -hmm. It's just really the ability of arms to clash with projectiles. We're going to see a few like transcendent projectiles go through them, but we're already seeing it with things like Crash Bomb. He's getting swatted out of the air. You want to see space? Now you can seize these hands. Yeah, and now here we go. We got a lead trap situation. Yeah, you better hope that Peckham mistimes that two frame. Ram Ram is incredibly deadly and of course has that range, has that wider hitbox as well, perfect for scooping up those recoveries. That's kind of what we're seeing. The Crash Bomb actually interrupts you just a little bit. And it's the second hit. You know, you got the jab, but it's the cross that really messes you up and the dragon comes out with style. I swear mm -hmm. to God, people need to realize that Min Min is never out here throwing one arm. She throws arms, two, plural. Watch out for the two <laughs> beats. Oh yeah, always watch out for the one, two. It's a great way to mix up as well, because, you know, if you just throw out one arm, it can condition him to hold shield longer. So it's a big mental game there. And nice grab and power dragon as well. So they're going to pack a punch and use Ari <laughs> there. And almost his second stock immediately gone. Like, this is really rough looking already. Mm -hmm. I mean, y'all, I've seen a few matches where, like, Min Min's Twitch clip folks finishing matches in under a minute or two. And Yui really needs to go ahead and get his feet set in this matchup, or he might be on Twitch himself shortly. Yeah, but what what is he supposed to do? Look, look at this. <laughs> My God, it is so rough for you to close this distance. Peckham is just making quick work of him, and it is uh, pretty difficult so far to make a comeback right now. So it's going to take a miracle. Yeah, well, Mega Man's thing is he's the guy that's supposed to zone you out and like keep you in mid-range and not let you in close. But Min Min doesn't care about any of Mega Man's neutral tools. And the edge trapping is just not working out at all for you either. We're not seeing really any opportunity for him to either stick Peckham at edge or go off stage and get this character knocked away. Weak recovery, but Peckham is making it look super good with these perfectly timed tethers back to stage. I can definitely see where he's coming from here, but it's just not enough perfect execution. I mean, we've seen those attempted ledge trumps. We're seeing the metal bay drops to mix up Peckham, but Peckham is just easily swathing through the waves and waves of projectiles. So it's pretty simple stuff. Mm, wow, that was a three star. <laughs> yeah, speaking of simple stuff, the quick mega watt hammer pounding out you, pounding out that game one. Peckham looking pretty good so far. I mean, yeah. we've seen Peckham do this before. This is seizing control, a talented player piloting his main to the best of his abilities. It is going to be really difficult for Yui if he doesn't make a change in this mentality or the matchup. We're going to have to see some new tricks right here or a new character. Mm hmm. Yeah, and I think it's a very common misconception right now that Min Min has a bad recovery. I mean, sure, if you are able to, like, if you're Pikachu and you're able to go out there and hit uh, Min Min, then, yeah, you like, she's gone. But her tether recovery actually has a lot of range, and you can mix it up quite a bit, so I don't think it's nearly as bad as people are saying. I think it's because... Uh, pa uh, Min Min came alongside, you know, Joker and Byleth with these amazing tethers that hers in comparison is a little bit lackluster, but it's still a tether recovery. It's still good. It still gets her back in one piece most of the time. And that's what's really important because Peckham's holding on to these stocks. I also want to point out uh, that a few people in chat are already out here saying, damn, how do I change my bets? Clearly, <laughs> we've got some gamblers in here who realize they put money on the wrong horse. But I've got faith in you. He's a talented player, so we'll have to see what changes we have in store on Battlefield for Game 2. Yeah, well, we better see some adaptation really fast because this is a two out of three match. Yeah, indeed. And I'm interested in the battlefield choice because Mega Man can make use of those platforms and whatnot. But at the same time, Min Min can just sit underneath one of those side platforms, just throw out some arms, and it's going to be incredibly difficult for you to approach. So hopefully you can slow things down and kind of make it work because you're already down a game. You don't want to be sent to losers. Mm -hmm. I mean, I do feel like this is one of Min Min's weaker stages. But <laughs> Peckham doesn't seem to really care right now. He does that a lot. He upbees from center stage and then immediately just does like a falling dragon or a megawatt hammer. It covers so much space and it really punishes players that are trying to play like an air-to-air -air game. Like you can just basically say, you want to use these platforms? That's fine. But unless you are underneath the side platform, you are not going to be able to jump in on me. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I feel like, yeah, Yu's just gonna need to really pressure Min Min on the ledge because these edge guards are not working out. And instead, Yu, uh, Yu is getting pressured on the ledge in, in themselves. Yeah, there's these little moments here and there, but Yu's just struggling. Both characters really are struggling to secure this first stock already. Mm hmm. I guess that is like the benefit of this playstyle. If you try oh no, no <laughs> double jump from Peckham and already use the up B. For those of y'all who do not know, tether recoveries give you like a little burst of aerial momentum when you use them for the first time. But after that, none. Doesn't matter how many times you get hit, you don't get that burst back. So Peckham, an early exit for stock one, but immediately cleaning up Yui's for stock two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure what Mega Man is supposed to do in this matchup. Like, uh, you, had, you saw that Yui had to weave around the arms to get that Crash Bomb to get onto Peckham, but then Peckham just latched it right back onto Yui. Back there, do you know? He does know. Okay, every time I see somebody get back <laughs> by Min Min at edge, I'm like, do they know that they have to <laughs> immediately avoid the smash attack? Yeah, Mega mm -hmm. Man got a little, uh, Mega Man has to avoid that because, yeah, Min Min got a little bit of cheese. Oh, yeah. A little bit of that extra cheddar, stuff like that. and. Right now, uh, there's the ledge trump we were. Uh, you was trying to complete in game one, That's and dead. The, the leaf shield gimp. Wait, they just wow. traded. Trade. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Peckham. Peckham with the parting shot, falling away to death. Peckham actually fired off that aerial and snuffed out Yu's second jump. What a god! Yeah, yeah. we are. Go we shall go together. It turns out because my <laughs> goodness. That Peckham. was so unfortunate for you because you finally got that edge guard, finally hit that leaf shield, but it just wasn't worth it in the end. Oh, beautiful air dodge, but that quick get up is just stuffed up by Megawatt. This is really risky already for you, but I like that drop down leaf shield. Back in advantage. We've seen some smart use of these projectiles. For the most part, Ooh. if you fire them out long range, they just get clanked. But, like, you've actually found some second life on this stock by using just. Back to basics, I don't really feel like he's changed his playstyle up too much. He's just being incredibly intelligent with his approaches, but the oh. range of that dragon! My goodness! That is an amazing extra little bit of damage and a little bit of pressure from that dragon laser, and it's Peckham just clean sweeping after uh, two far hard-earned games. It looks like uh, Peckham's going to winner's finals.